week's newsletter, and we did warn you last week, the green board, after many decades, it's gone. It's now replaced with the House Owen Golf Club Events Board in partnership with Driving Auto Centres. So thank you very much for Driving Auto Centres for sorting this board out for us. Uh, now we've got, a, it's a little bit different to the green board, we've got this week and then next week. We won't run through all of that uh, on the newsletter, but uh, when you do come up to the club it's a little bit easier to see, a bit more in advance, what's on. Now uh, some results to go through, first of all, before we run through some fixtures. So last weekend was the men's pairs open. Uh, just a fantastic day, the weather was amazing. Uh, it did get a little bit hot in the afternoon for some of the players, for some of you players out there. Um, the winners, uh, with a great score of 45 points, they did shoot this quite early on in the day, was Martin and Chris Price, father and son. So uh, well done for you two, got to, for you two guys. You've got uh, 75 pound vouchers each to spend on foremostgolf.com or you can spend them in the shop here. So, uh, and we'll put a list up of all the other prizes up on the notice boards in and around the, uh, the, the clubhouse. Uh, and there's also the rest of them are on the newsletter as well. Now, uh, the day was great success really, thanks to everybody who played in it and all the helpers. So including Felicity on the first tee, who stood there all morning and done the starting uh, into the afternoon. And also my wife, uh, Jay, who sat on the 15th or 16th tee all day long. Uh, she had to be the insurers uh, require a witness, an independent witness to be sitting on that to 16th hole all day long. Just in case there is a hole in one, nobody got it, nobody won the car. Uh, but a better luck next year. And Trevor as well also, who organised it, uh, was also there handing out water, which was well needed, I think, when you got to the 16th hole. Now, also then on Sunday, there was a 17-24 league match against Bude League, which we won, 157-143. That means we're top of the league with the game in hand. Then Tuesday was the Seniors Open. Uh, again, very well organised, as usual, by Dave Parry uh, and all his helpers. Uh, and the winner, Colin Price, what, our own Colin Price with 41 points. So well done, Colin, for that. Uh, now, the West Midlands uh, League team have just won this week as well, again, against Dudley this time. So we now won the, uh, won the league. Well done to the West Midlands League. Uh, now, and they'll go through to the next stages. Uh, one last more, more resource as well, the ladies. Uh, the Jill Miller Trophy winner was Chris Rollins. So well done, that. well done, Chris. Right, so lots of results there to, uh, to go through. Uh, very quickly, what's coming up? Now, this weekend, medal on sun on Saturday. So there's no tea closures at all on Saturday. But on Sunday, listen carefully. Right, so on Sunday, there's a Worcestershire Handicap League match. So the first tea is closed from 11.30 to 12.30. Now, we don't do this very often that we only have just a very, very small f number of societies of a weekend. Uh, and there was a bit of a clash, long story. Um, so we've got a society straight afterwards from 12.30 till 1.30. So the tea is closed for a couple of hours on Sunday. Uh, apologies for that. There's lots of times either side of that that you can play though. So well, hopefully you can organize your day around those couple of tea closures there on Sunday. We try our best not to close the tea. Uh, certainly for societies of a weekend, but every now and again, uh, we have to. It helps bring some money in and it helps keep your subs low. So uh, bear with us every now and again on that one. We turn a lot away because everybody wants a society of a weekend. Uh, it's very difficult to get societies in the week, although that's the ideal time for us. Now, uh, what's coming up then uh, next week? Uh, just a couple of things really. Uh, Tuesday, senior captain's day at home. There's a few just small tea closures very early on in the morning. Um, and then the following weekend, following weekend there is some tea closures. That's the 13th and the 14th. But uh, we'll run through that when we have a little look in the, uh, in the lot. Right, so I've stopped Tim just for, this is like the quickest interview we have ever, because it's non-stop, isn't it? Yeah, this time really he, uh, uh, he's never got time to talk to me. Um, but just a few things really, uh, Tim, obviously next week uh, you're going to do a bit of work to the greens. Yeah, the plans for next week, uh, we want a solid pencil tie, um, scarify or vertical, one or the other, yeah. see what, what the conditions are, and then a light top dress in the sand brushed in. Okay, but you're going to try and do it, not disrupt any, any play or competitions mm. 
which is a challenge, isn't it? Because there's so many matches and yeah. competitions and events on. This time of year is hard, isn't it's it? It's really difficult this time. Yeah. So there has got to be a little bit of work done to these greens, but it's not very disruptive work, no, is it? No. You know, you've got the playing surface, is going to still be really good. The course, everybody's saying the course is amazing at the moment, um, but it, a lot of it's down to obviously all the hard work that you all do, but also, but not just now, is it? It's from the last few years. Yeah. It's all the work that, you know, obviously Trevor, by the way, didn't he? Yeah. He got the you know, the STRI report done all those years ago and that programme of work that you've now carried out on the green. This is the result really, isn't it? Of yeah. all of that and having new machinery and hard work. <laughs> yeah, I mean, the new machinery helps, the weather helps. Yeah. But yeah, we um, probably about six or seven years ago, we were at a low point, um, low staff and poor old machinery. Yeah. Since then, we've, we've changed a couple of the staff members uh, we've got new machinery, uh, we're following a report done by the STRI um, and we're seeing the benefits. So, of course, he's amazing, Tim. So keep it up. We've got some more new machinery on the way as well, yeah. um, but we'll run through that as it arrives over the next few weeks and sort of tell you what it's for and how it's going to benefit the course and obviously the members. And a very quick look in the lobby this week, see what's going on on the notice board. Uh, club Championship, so Men's and Ladies Club Championship and the Trevor By The Way Trophy. All the rules are up there, I'm not going to run through them all now. Um, but there is a few tea spots you can reserve on Saturday morning up until 10.30. After that you can still play in it, but if you want to know exactly what time you're going to play on Saturday morning, stick your name down there, there's just a few spaces left available. That's on the 20th and 21st of July. Before that though, charity weekend, Saturday the 13th, Sunday the 14th, a um, couple of different formats both days, get your names down. Uh, now on, there's a slight change, uh, on the Sunday the 14th, we was doing this rainbow format, uh, I won't go into it all now, it has been changed, um, obviously a couple of reasons, one, after looking into it, it was going to be perhaps a little bit unfair on the ladies. We were going to uh, give the ladies an extra few shots to make up for that. But another issue got flagged up, uh, there's a bit of a safety issue on some of the, some of the tees. Certainly it's on the third tee, everybody would be going off the reds. And the men going off the reds on the third suddenly brings into play the um, fourth green, fifth tee. Uh, so we decided the best thing to do and uh, captain decided to, I mean, we're going to blame the captain on this one, this is weekend, well they their weekend, both captains. So uh, they've changed it now, still in three balls, keep your name down, but a little bit of a different format, it's just best two from three to count on the uh, par fours and fives and all three on the par three, so a little bit of a change. Uh, now uh, another function, uh, Hayley Louise Live, that's on, where's the date, Friday the 16th of August. Uh, Baby love last weekend, great night as well. I think that went down really well. The place was packed out for that. And so just keep remember to keep your eyes on this notice board. Some letters there if you haven't had one. I think that's a charity uh, weekend letter. Just saying you can sponsor an event or donate something uh, to go towards the captain's charities. Uh, captain's charity, then fantastic. The letter explaining all of that in there. So run me through there so you can find a letter with your name on. So, <laughs> today. Right, we're out on the course, having a very sensible game of golf. Uh, the Johnsons, Felicity, Luke, camera, Jay, obviously, Caddy and Caddy. Caddy. Uh, Nicholas has decided he'd rather take a girl out than come out and have a game of golf. Um, Fourth hole, bit of a nearest to pin challenge, I think. Okay. Is that all right? Sure. And by the way, while we're on here, um, there's a tremendous amount of divots been taken on this tee. Not even an attempt to fill them in. We don't know if it's one person or not, but you know that's what these are for. It's only a few yards away. Yeah. Okay, you to go first.
Oh, is that coming back? Let's play one. Come on in, Lukey. So who's closest? Oh wow. Me. You reckon? Probably. Yours doesn't count because you've had two, Luke. <laughs> By the way. Just about. Mum, who's nearest? Yours. Yeah. So you're back for a few weeks. Yeah. Next event. British Open at Woburn, August the 1st to 4th. <laughs> That's like you rehearsed that. And then Who's after the that? Uh, the Scottish Open the week after. Okay, which you've got your little brother caddying for you. Yeah. Desperate times call for Luke. Okay, with nobody else? Well, I just couldn't really bother to ask anybody else, so I just thought right. I'd ask Luke. I hope she's paying you well, Luke. Uh, haven't discussed terms yet. No, I haven't but discussed the contract. Already, so it's, oh, do you? you don't. It's his fault. I've learnt anything. No. So, a couple of events in the UK coming up. Uh, yeah. So, Woburn, if anybody fancies going to watch, we may arrange a coach trip. I'm just waiting for some costs on it, but we'll let you know in the next few days on that one. Uh, so, you might have a little coach. We had a coach last time. Yeah. He was there. Uh, did. So, it was good. Good, uh, good day out. Yeah. Um, now, uh, you, was, you had a great job, didn't you, on Saturday, doing the starting Rainable. for the day yeah. in the open. So, thank you very much for that. So, That's you stood right, on the first tee from 7.30 in the morning. Until about two, ten past, ten past two. two. That was very And enjoyable. you saw obviously an array of shots. Is there any particular things that you saw, any common things that you saw people getting wrong? People need to be on time. Oh. Can't be late on the tee. There was uh, only a couple of groups. There was a couple, were, mainly in the afternoon, not yeah. naming names, but the afternoon was definitely worse than the morning. Okay. Very prompt morning players. Um, and everybody aims right. As we keep saying on the newsletter. Oh, they obviously nobody don't listen, do they? No. So you notice a lot of people aiming right off that first tee. Yeah. And then obviously trying to compensate in the swing. So check your alignment. That was the biggest thing. Wasn't that it, was really? very noticeable. Okay. You made a few people as a bit, a bit nervous, a bit I think, as well, didn't you? Uh, I do have that effect on people. <laughs> yeah, I mean, the first, no one likes the first tee in any situation, yeah. whether it's a pitch and putt or the US Open, the first tee is not a great place. Um, everyone's always a bit more relaxed once they've got that first one out of the way. So, thank you very much. It's okay. Check your alignment. And good luck in the open. Thanks. And I think it must be a draw. I think I win.